Do you know anyone who suffers from cardiovascular disease, cancer, stroke, respiratory disease, an accident or injury, kidney disease, diabetes, or Alzheimer's? There are currently 100 million patients in the United States that could potentially benefit from stem cell research. More than $2 trillion is spent each year on the treatment of diabetes, cancer, cardiovascular, and lower respiratory disease alone. Stem cell research could improve these treatments, reducing that cost. The cells that scientists are interested in using in this life-saving research come from embryos that are only 100 cells big and no more than three to four days into development. These cells have never been implanted into a woman. Can you even see that? Right now, there are 400,000 embryos frozen in clinics, tens of thousands of which will be thrown away. By the time this EPT test is positive, it's already too late to be used for research. How is stem cell research being done? You can be assured that strict guidelines are in place. Scientists are interested in helping people with terrible diseases, not cloning them. Two-thirds of the American people support embryonic stem cell research. So, so what's, what's being, being done? done?